What is going on everybody? It is Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something I haven't done on this channel before. We're going to be using a product I've never used before. So I would like to thank Super Clean for making this video possible. Uh, without them, I would not, be, would, I, would not be making this video. They were kind enough to reach out to me and be like, look, we like your videos. Uh, we want you to test our product. So today we're going to be completely testing Super Clean's product. I'm going to be using it on something that I know is going to put it to a very, very good test. You guys know my 85 F-150 right here. I have never, I've owned it for eight years now, I have never cleaned the engine bay on that truck. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's open up the box that they sent and see what all is inside. I mean, I did open I took my hat and my shirt out, but if you open this up, we've got this first bottle right here. Some foaming tough task cleaner degreaser. This is probably what we're gonna be using right here. I think that's probably what's gonna work the best. And then what's in here? Tough task cleaner degreaser dissolves grease super easy, super fast. So I think it's the same thing as this one, just this one foams and that one doesn't, I'm guessing. And we've got all wheel cleaner, foams away grime, break dust, super easy, super fast. We can test this out, and then we've got, uh, oh, comes in a spray can. It's basically the, the same thing as what's in these uh, squirt bottles, just in a spray can. What else is in here? And then we've got some floor absorbent. This is something that I, I need because starting here in a couple days, I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving up to Georgia. And I actually have a two-car garage there. You guys know, I started this channel in this driveway. I do everything outside. So, I mean, you spill something on a driveway, throw some sand on it, scoop the sand up, throw it away, whatever you do with your, your oil sand. <laughs> but now that I'm going to have a two-car garage, I am going to be working on things more often on the inside of a garage. So, this is going to come in really handy anytime we spill some oil, spill some coolant, spill transmission fluid, anything like that, that's gonna help a lot. I definitely, definitely need that. It's funny how things like that work out. Now, you guys see, we have all the different products from Super Clean laid out. We've got a wheel cleaner, and we've got three pretty strong degreasers, all just in a different bottle. We've got a foaming, one that comes out of a spray can, and then just a normal one, and then we've got our floor absorbent. I'm not really gonna be able to use the floor absorbent in this video, but I will promise you that I will use it in the future. Uh, but we are gonna tackle the wheel cleaner and we're gonna try the degreasers. If we look up here in the engine bay, you guys can see just on this valve cover right here, how absolutely disgusting it is. Look underneath this AC condenser, just how gross it is in there. It is disgusting. This thing's never, never really been clean. This isn't gonna be a complete like makeover. Like it's not like, oh, my engine bay is gonna be brand new after this, but I am, I am gonna clean some things up. This isn't like some super fancy engine bay cleaning video where I'm taking everything apart and I'm cleaning everything. But I do wanna test and see how well this stuff works. I haven't used a single one of these bottles that they, they sent me. I've had it waiting in, in the box inside just for this video. So this is gonna be my first reaction, my first time using it. So you guys, you guys know I'm genuine with you. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna tell you. If it works great, I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you to go buy something just because I made a video on it. That's not how I am. So let's get an honest review of these products from Super Clean. See how well they work. Okay, so first off, before we even put any Super Clean on the truck, I am gonna go ahead and pressure wash all the loose stuff off. That way, we're not we're not fighting stuff that can just come off of the pressure washer. We're fighting stuff that actually needs to be broke down and taken off. I'm gonna pressure wash it. I'm gonna stay away from the carburetor. I'm just gonna try and pressure wash the sides and everything. That way we don't get any moisture in our carburetor. Because I mean, you can put a bag and everything off on top of it, but in all honesty, you wanna keep water away from your carburetor. So we're just gonna stay over in this general area over here, try and get everything cleaned up. And 
about 20 minutes later, I think we got the engine bay a lot cleaner than what it was. I mean, it's not perfect by no means, but it's definitely a lot cleaner than what it was. I mean, before you couldn't even see the sticker on this AC com uh, compressor right here. And then look how much cleaner it is just in there. This is just pressure washing it. I mean, the valve cover looks different. Power steering pump looks different. I mean, fan shroud, radiator cap. It all cleaned up quite a bit. And even cooler, we got underneath here all clean this engine cross member right here. Got that a lot cleaner. Now, I'm super excited to see what this super clean can do. But they tell you to test on an inconspicuous spot, so I'm actually gonna test it right here. Spray it on, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna use the foaming ones, I feel like the foaming's probably gonna be a little bit stronger, but I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and see what it does. All right, we start the time lapse rolling. I'm gonna pick you guys up. Look how much is already just, the soap has changed colors. It's like it's almost just dripping off. It's getting cleaner without me even pressure washing it. Like, it's changed already a lot. I just want to interrupt the, the time lapse just to show that uh, it's actually cleaning it. I'm kind of impressed, and I haven't even pressure washed it yet. Okay, just after just spraying it, we already have, I mean, that's, that's as clean as it's going to get. All I did was spray it on and spray it off. Can you imagine if you actually sprayed this on to like a brush and brushed it, how much different it would look? I'm, I'm genuinely impressed with uh, that result. I, I can genuinely say like I was kind of expecting it to just foam on and like rinse off and like actually have to like scrub it. But the fact that I sprayed it on, you could see the suds change colors. They went from white to brown. And when I pressure washed it off, every bit of the soap that came off was dark brown. Like I had sat there and scrubbed it, but I never touched it. You guys saw. <laughs> I'm genuinely gonna say I am very very impressed so not only does this look brand new power steering pump looks brand new all the brackets down there on the inside they look brand new and then valve cover almost this is all old paint that used to be on the valve cover I mean this is not oil back here I know see like I'll focus on my fingers I can rub it and my fingers stay clean it is, it is clean this used to be black and now this is just like the raw aluminum part of it but it is completely cleaned out and then down here on this motor mount cross member right here that was completely caked in years and years of old oil and grime i literally sprayed it on there and hit it the pressure washer came Come, came completely off. Considering that it looked like this over here was all caked up and nasty and discolored. I mean, that is exactly what that bracket looked like on the other side. And now it, it's completely clean. We can't really see it from this side, but it is completely clean. Now, yes, having a pressure washer does speed up the process. It does make it quicker than if you were to just be using a conventional hose or anything like that. But, I mean, it doesn't lie. I mean, video justice doesn't lie that I pressure washed it, got all the hard stuff off. I hit it with super clean, I let it sit, and then I did it again, and it got even cleaner. That, that's just saying that super clean is working. It is making a difference. Now, we've done the engine bay. We've got all that cleaned out and looking good. Let's see what we can do with these rims. So, silver is very forgiving. These don't look that dirty, but... If we look right here, they are filthy. They are absolutely disgusting. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pressure wash it, get all the, lo the loose stuff off, and then we're gonna try that room cleaner. I'm just gonna spray it on and see what it does. But we'll do half the wheel. Pressure wash half the wheel. 
We'll spray it over here, pressure wash it off, and then compare it to this side and see what difference it makes. I literally cannot even make this stuff up. It's, it's completely clean. Oh, that's a dirty finger. It's completely clean, like completely clean. Let's try a different spot. Clean finger, look, before, put this on my finger. Finger's pretty clean. Not any brake dust left on that rim. Literally cannot make this up. That is just where the soap ran on this rim. Just the soap ran off this rim and completely took the brake dust off. You're telling me that I can clean these rims without touching them? All I do is spray this on here? Like, all I did was spray it on there. I did not touch it at all. Sprayed it on, sprayed it off, and it's clean. I'm not acting excited just for the camera, just because Super Clean's watching this, just because this was sent out to me to make a video on. I am not acting excited. I'm acting excited because I have been washing rims for, God, 10 years? Eight years, eight to 10 years, I've been washing rims on vehicles and everything you have to scrub. You spray it on there, you have to scrub it to get it off. It doesn't just come off. So the fact that I just sprayed that on there and that brake dust came off, I'm impressed. So now I have a real test for it. Does it work on aluminum? You guys see the inside of my American Force right here. See how gross looking that is? So, they say test it on an inconspicuous spot. I told you guys at the beginning of the video, I know types of degreasers and stuff, they don't react well with aluminum rims. For whatever reason, they don't like polished rims. So, we are gonna try it right here. You guys see this, right? You guys see that hard line where the super clean wasn't? Like, you see this, right? I'm I'm not losing my mind that it just took off every bit of brake dust without me touching it. What? What? My mind, completely blown. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Are we serious right now? Like, are we completely serious that it just took off months, I mean months, of brake dust? Without touching it, I literally did not touch any part of that brake dust and it took all of it off. Within two minutes, took it completely off. I have one more test and if it passes this test, I'm, I'm gonna be shooketh. It's the only way I can put that because I can't really tell if it did any type of oxidization or anything to the back of the rim. I can't really tell if it made it cloudy and that's normally what the greaser does on polished rims is it makes it like a cloudy look to it so for the sake of this video i'm going to test it on the front and just see um i'm not going to time lapse this one this video is probably already like 15 minutes long i'm sorry guys but i'm just going to see i'm going to spray it on spray it off this this wheel is filthy i know it doesn't look that bad on camera camera never does it justice but it, it is very very filthy like this room is disgusting you guys see that line right there? That's the difference between dirty and clean. I'm only gonna spray it in this area and see if that line goes away. Only because I, I want you guys to trust me. I just sprayed that on there. Just sprayed it on. I don't I don't know why you guys wouldn't believe me, uh, but I'm I'm blown away. I'm completely completely blown away. So it's been on there for almost a minute now. Let's see if that's good enough to take it off. Better pressure washer. Try it. Well, guys, the line's gone. Completely freaking gone. If that's not enough proof for you that this stuff actually worked, I don't know what it is. I never even touched these two. I literally only used the foaming one and the wheel cleaner, and it cleaned everything. So, I mean, come on now. You guys, I don't, 
I'm not very good at making videos like this because when things like that blow my mind, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know how to finish the video. I don't know how to say like, you guys need to buy this without telling you guys you need to buy this. Cause like, it, it worked. I'm blown away. So I'm not gonna drag this video on any longer. I'll have a link down below in the description to go check out Super Clean. Go pick you guys up some. It's sold in parts stores, retail stores. I mean, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Advanced Auto Parts. Anywhere you can buy a degreaser, you can buy Super Clean. So you don't have to buy it online, but I will have a link down in the description. Go check it out. If you guys buy it online or anything, if there's anywhere you can put that I sent you, please do. Go check them out. It's worth it, I promise. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.